Oh, they're doing it. Samsung is about to copy Apple. They're going to add a notch to the Galaxy S10. I'm just kidding. They're not doing that. But y'all are still going to be pissed. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, my favorite people in the world? Welcome to Front Page Tech, of course, show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Thursday. We missed you yesterday. Sorry about there not being an episode. You would have known that, though, if you follow me on Twitter. Link down in the description. We got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I'm sure we'll be able to tell you soon, but yeah. Uh, anyway, let's do the news part. All right, so story numero uno, number one for the day. Uh, we've sort of shown you concept designs already, but if you've been wondering what the 2018 iPad Pros are going to look like, uh, here, a Slash Leaks user uh, that goes by the name Leak Spinner, they leaked this supposedly like the actual design for the 2018 iPad Pro. These are allegedly 3D CAD files, like actual CAD files from a factory in China, just as expected. No notch on this mother trucker, uh, but we still get Face ID. This is a perfect blend of Face ID. The bezels are just the right size so you can fit Face ID in there and not add a notch. Also, side note, that is dangerously thin, my god. So, uh, uh, it looks good. Uh, not good enough. I will not be buying it. I. I don't know what it is, I just have never really been interested in iPads. I've never had one, never really wanted one. Um, what about you? You gonna buy this? I'm not. Okay, so, months ago when I started talking about the iPhone XR, before we knew the actual name for that device, I said it was going to outsell every other smartphone, including the two new iPhones, the other two iPhone models this year. I said it was going to do extremely well, and people were like, well, the Apple customer doesn't want that. They want the expensive one. Eh. I also said that this is not just a push for Apple customers to buy this phone. This is a market push to convince people to switch from Android to iOS. And a lot of you said, nah, Android users will not switch because it's a kind of cheaper iPhone. They won't do it. To that, I say, ha! And ha! It looks like not quite a quarter, not a whole 25%, but close enough, a lot of Android users are planning to switch to the iPhone this time around. According to this chart, 19% of current Samsung users and 20% of current Motorola users are actually planning on buying an iPhone when it comes time to upgrade their device. Something that I think is very, very interesting is that people that own a Google smartphone are actually not very likely to jump over to iOS. So let's be honest, that's gotta say a lot about stock Android. Now, is this chart 100% accurate? Uh, of course not. This is compiled from a bunch of surveys that were sent out to approximately like 33,000 smartphone owners. So obviously not 100% of smartphone owners, call me little titties, but a good sampling. Now, real quick, I don't really care. You know what, in fact, we, let's do our typical disclaimer for anyone that's like, Apple sheep, you're an Apple fanboy, or Apple's paying you, you shill. Quick disclaimer for those assholes. Why, hello there. This is John Prosser, host of the world-famous Front Page Tech Show. Here to say, Quack. Apple, Quack. Tim Cook, we don't care. <laughs> we really don't. So listen, I don't give a sh** what kind of device you switch to, what device you use. I don't care what you have in your pocket or what you're using to sit on the toilet and watch me with right this very instant. I have no horse in this race. I simply added this uh, for the I told you so moment. Um, because a lot of people think that I don't know the market as well as I do and say that, oh, people would never switch. Why would they switch just because? Cheaper iPhone. They would not do that. Well, huh, Frank. you, huh? Well, hello again. It is I, John Prosser, host of the world-famous Front Page Tech Show, asking you to let us know in the comments section below, what are you going to do? You going to switch? You going to keep your phone? Are you using iOS? Are you using Android? How devoted, how loyal are you? Let us know in the comments section below. A little bit of a survey here. Although, we kind of know what direction this is going to go. Speaking of I told you so moments, listen. I get it. You guys think that my ego's too big, that I'm not humble enough, and you hate when I say I told you so. I get it. I, I, that's fine. But when I say something's gonna happen, and then it happens, 
What else should we call that? So like three or four months ago, we put out an episode and I told you that Samsung was going to get rid of the headphone jack and that to me, it made sense. It was time. Basically some patent filings came out and based off of those, I was like, hey, not gonna be a headphone jack. And everyone was like, no, John, you're wrong. You don't know that. You don't know anything. Samsung will not do that to us. Filings don't mean that it's gonna happen next year. We may never see these patent filings. It might never be a physical product. They will not get rid of the headphone phone jack because they love us too much samsung would never let us down my question to you is how many times do i have to get shit right before you listen before you take me seriously when i speak huh huh here we are samsung it looks like they are going to kill remove get rid of the headphone jack for the 2019 galaxy devices now this is all according to sources within supply chains let's be honest the wireless headphone market's doing pretty well right now also samsung wants to offer thinner lighter devices it might not be what everyone wants but samsung wants it so soon when you look at the bottom of these devices say the galaxy note 10 for example you're going to see one hole one hole and that is a usb-c hole port whatever you want to call it listen i said it then i will say it now i know the market i have been doing this for a super long time and i can understand and take the emotion out of the equation and understand the consumer the average consumer and the average consumer does not give a fuck about this port we can be super happy that they've been hanging on this long in fact samsung i respect the hell out of you you are one of the very last outlaws you and lg are out there in the desert somewhere with your with your headphone jacks and that's real great we appreciate you i respect you but i also understand i get it it's time to move on children and now today's sponsor yo if you're still pushing your own vacuum to clean your floors in the year 2018 I, I don't I don't trust you. This is the Roborock S5 and it is just as amazing as its name. Listen, I don't say things like this lightly, but this vacuum will change your life. We're talking sweeping, mopping, carpet, tile, wood, floor, you name it. This can do it. And did I mention that it does it by itself? It maps the layout of your home, gets to know the place a little bit and goes to town with obstacle avoidance and and stupid long battery life you can remote control this thing or schedule it to clean while you sleep you ain't got time for that oh and did i mention it's super affordable too i mean it is a robot that will make your life less of a mess we are in the future link in the description and that is the show hopefully you liked it, you learned something if you did hit that like button if you hate my stupid face that dislike button is for you and of course subscribe we'll see you tomorrow uh that's when we're coming back.